they all do a great job in my office. Uh, and the reason that I am here today is because I believe computer science is important for you and the future opportunities that you have and that is important for the state of Arkansas. Now when I say it's important for you, what is really uh, under, what we've got to recognize is that whether you're in a small town or a large city, if you've got access to high-speed internet, and you know how to code, you can run the world from Alpena. Now, think about that for a second and all that's happening. If you learn, right now, you know, you might have a software business in Little Rock, and you might have a computer coder in Houston that is doing the work for you. You could actually have someone in India doing the work for you. So if you reverse that, if you've got talent you can do your work from Alpena for a company in Houston or a company in India. That's the world in which we live today. Now, Arkansas right now is leading the nation in computer science education. Now just absorb that for a second. And that happened because whenever I was running for governor, I had a granddaughter who was 11 years old. And my granddaughter, Ella Beth, she, with her dad, learned enough coding online over the summer that she made a mobile campaign app for me. And I said, wow, if she can do this at 11 years old with a summer project, then I think we ought to offer that in every high school in Arkansas. And so I started running on that, and I said, if I get elected governor, we're going to have computer coding offered in every high school in Arkansas. And thanks to the legislature, they passed that initiative that mandated it. We put $5 million toward that initiative. We made sure that we retrain teachers so that they can teach it in the schools. And if, it, and if a school didn't have a teacher, they could learn it through virtual Arkansas, which is the online system. A teacher is much better. And because of that, and because of some other things and putting money behind it, we're recognized by Wired Magazine as leading the nation in computer science. And then, we didn't mandate it, we didn't say every student has to take it. And so that's why I am out encouraging students to say, this is important for you, you need to think about taking computer science. How many of you are taking computer science here at Alpena? Raise your hand. I think we had a really good number because I think you have it mandated in the, in the eighth grade. But uh, I hope that all of you will consider it before you get out, of, get out of high school. There will be one million unfilled jobs in the United States of America over the next four years in the computer science field. Uh, it's an opportunity that you can give you a great paying job if you get a degree in computer science you will have about starting salary of $60,000 a year. And so there's a great opportunity for you in just about any field you go into if you know a little bit about computer coding. Why am I interested in this? I told you about my granddaughter, but I also didn't tell you much about myself. I grew up on a small farm in a town of 900. If you stretched it, maybe it was 1,000 if you rounded up. Uh, in Gravit, Arkansas, and my mom and dad had a high school education. They didn't go to college, but they were smart enough to know the kids should go to college. I was the youngest of six kids. Uh, I did go to college. I worked my way through. I cleaned the gymnasium. I got my degree. I went to law school, uh, and one thing led to another in my life. I did a little politics. I got involved, and I ran for Congress, and I got elected. So I'm in Congress in the United States in Washington, D.C., and the President Bush asked me to help uh, run the DEA, to go over and run the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration and join his cabinet. And then the 9-11 attack occurred, occurred where they bombed the Twin Towers. And the President said, I need you, Asa, to go over and help set up the new Department of Homeland Security, which is responsible for protecting the United States from a terrorist attack. So here's a farm boy from Gravit. Parents didn't go to college. 
One thing led to another in my life. I don't know much about technology, but I'm helping to run and protect our country from terrorists. And so I'm in the Situation Room at the White House with the President Bush, where the CIA briefs the President on the latest terrorist threat. And so he gets the briefing, and President Bush turns to me, and he says, Asa, you heard that, the latest threats, what are we doing about it? And that's when you just want to turn to the person next to you and say, you heard the President, what are we doing about it? But I didn't have that opportunity, and so I had to develop a strategy and you know what the key thing that I learned was that what our men and women are doing overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan fighting terrorism is critically important and keeping us safe. But the second thing I learned is it is that young student who went to school and learned computer science and knew how to tell the computer what to do that we could use that technology to keep our country safe as well. Because people who come into our country, you can't inspect every bag, you can't inspect every container, you can't inspect every shipment and every plane and every train. So you've got to take information and target those that might pose a risk. And that's somebody who understood computer science. And so that was my interest in it, as well as my granddaughter. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to have uh, my team play a video for you. And I want you to know, when you see this video, everything is about Arkansas. It, every company that's mentioned in this video is an Arkansas company. Every person who is interviewed is an Arkansas person. Every job that is talked about is an Arkansas job. And so make sure that's your focus. Let's uh, play the video, dim the lights, and then I'm going to come back and talk a little bit more uh, before we close out. and. Uh, if there's any questions they might want to ask, I might have a time to take a question too, so you'd be thinking about that. So Jeremy, with that, let's roll that video. Sure where they are. They're just, they've gone a walk about it, no matter. Um, and every time I hear about 
you know, where this person's at, they're in a different, they're in a different city, and they're able to do their job from Tobo literally from anywhere. No one ever told me that would be a possibility when I was younger, but now I get to travel and work wherever I want. Uh, I think that there's something about the work environment in a software company that's different than maybe the rest of the corporate world. We have to compete with the Facebooks and the Googles and the Amazons for talent. Part of the culture of programming is the fun. Our work culture here at Jimmy Hunt is a lot of fun, which is something that people may not expect in a large company. We have an open environment. We encourage this collaboration amongst our teams. We have outdoor picnic tables. We play ping pong whenever there's high stress moments, which kind of brings the level down. If you're in a good job, then it's one of the first places that I know of that you can dress as casually as you like. We have a real casual environment. Uh, you can see no one's in suit and tie here, so it just kind of comes as you are. Every now and then we'll have some nerf wars in the office to blow up some steam. And it's the cookouts and the burgers and the, and the hot dogs and, and the things we try to do on a weekly, if not daily basis that, that makes it uh, fun to come to work. It's not even like work, you're just going out to hang out with your friends. Coding is really for everybody, and there's not a demographic that is specific to. It's for anyone who wants to have ideas to make things better. Innovation comes in different ways. And I think different perspectives, different point of views are only going to help with innovation. When you give students the opportunity to learn in this hands on, IT, high tech environment, it appeals to all. When I graduated from the University of Arkansas, there were very few women in my field. And now I think that has definitely changed. And I think it's because technology spans so much more than people realize. I would encourage girls to learn how to code because nowadays it's very important to break a lot of barriers that there are out in the world. I cannot be afraid of uh, the industry itself. It's a very exciting fashion uh, industry and um, with a lot of potential. I would study in the computer science IT field because one, opportunities, two, opportunities, and three, opportunities. We are actually creating the future. We are working with technologies and talking to clients who are building things that don't even exist today. The general public does not even know or even coming. I think any time a young person can take a coding class, they definitely should. Just knowing what it takes to make something happen in this world of technology is essential. If you have the ability to be offered to take any of the computer science courses, it just gives you that one extra you know, leg up on so many people that aren't offered those classes in other states. I mean, I would love just to explore the options that are out there, do research on companies that you've heard of before. If they have a creative mind, if they're, uh, if they're a techie, if they like technology, there's no reason not to just try it. There's over 360,000 jobs available today, and that's expected to be over a million in the next couple of years, and two million by 2020. So if you have these skills, there is a job opportunity for you. Uh, with all the growth in the state of Arkansas, there's a lot of job opportunities right here in your home state. What we're doing is creating intrigue and excitement around coding, and those are the people that we want to hire. We want people that enjoy the work that they do. Once you learn how to code, um, it is not simply for that specific language. Uh, once you start learning, it really is something that you just want to go ahead and learn more and learn as many as you can. And like Pokemon, once you get one, you gotta catch them all. How was that? <laughs> Arkansas produced, Arkansas jobs, Arkansas people, Arkansas companies. Whenever I got elected governor, uh, I knew we had something special going with our talent, with our computer science program, so I went out to Silicon Valley. And the Silicon Valley is that strip of land between uh, San Francisco and San Jose, in which all the tech giants are there from Google and Facebook and LinkedIn. And so I went knocking on doors. I started telling them how much we've got going in Arkansas and all our talent here. And uh, I wanted them to come and move some of their companies here to Arkansas. It didn't take me long to figure out that their eyes got real big when I, when I told them about our talent, about our computer science program. And there's only one thing they wanted. They wanted our computer science majors to go out there and live in Silicon Valley and work for their companies. 
And I said, that's not good enough. That's not what our objective is. And so that's why we came back to Arkansas. We started recruiting technology companies here, Elixir, uh, Matova. These are Arkansas companies that have come here. One of them, Elixir, moved here from Boston, Massachusetts. And they found a home in Arkansas with great talent that's here, a great quality of life. They love the outdoors. And so we're going to grow our technology companies. But it's also the FedExes of the world. It's J.B. Hunt. It is Walmart. All of these are technology companies. Because Walmart, you think of that as a retail store. Walmart is trying to compete with Amazon. And to do that, it's about online purchasing. And it is about the millennials who go on the Internet to buy their goods to to make purchases, and it has to have people who understand computer science and software to be able to make all of that work. And so that's the future. I want to tell you how important teachers are. And here at Alpena, I know that you have, uh, I think it's 94 students that are participating in coding classes, and Missy Vic, Mrs. Vicki Shelton is teaching a coding block for eighth grade students. Is uh, Mrs. Shelton here? Let's recognize her. Thank you. And, and then we have, uh, school has a great robotics program. Uh, so thanks for uh, the robotics students, the robotics club, and the East Lab. And Mrs. Sherry Smith is here, I think, as well, that should be recognized that uh, uh, as former East teacher. Thank you for your leadership here. It's all about, there's two things that are important to make this work. One, students need to tell the teachers, I want to take computer science sometime while I'm in high school. And the second, that you create the demand, and teachers always respond to, the, to what the needs of students are. And so once you say, I want to take computer science, then teachers are going to have to sign up and say, we're going to get developed. We're going to learn more about it. We're going to be certified, and we're going to be able to teach it in the classroom. In Sheridan High School, uh, I went there on my coding tour, small town in South Arkansas. And as I went there, uh, the year we started our computer science initiative, they had one student, one student in computer in uh, in Sheridan High School. That summer, the principal had someone, a teacher come up and say, I need a job. Uh, I'm moving from another district. I'm coming to Sheridan. I'd like to be able to teach in the school system. And the principal said, I think we can give you a job, but on one condition, you teach computer science. Because they didn't have one. And he says, I need a job, I'll do it. He got developed uh, over the summer. He started teaching computer science. That school went from one student to 30 students and when I went there, they said next year they'll have 60. Because of a teacher, one student, 30 students, 60 students. And all of those students, believe it or not, they all showed me the video games they were making. Now, you can make a lot of other things when you learn computer coding, but that was their class project. And so they were having fun, and they were learning coding at the same time. I'll tell you one quick story. I went uh, on a road trip with my daughter, Sarah, and she's grown. She's a wonderful daughter, my only daughter. And we were going on this road trip to Nashville, Tennessee to watch some basketball. And I said, let's stop off over in Eastern Arkansas. There's a great diner over here. Everybody wants to go to that diner. I'd like to stop in there. She says, okay. And so we go to this diner and sure enough, they want to have some pictures with the governor. We take pictures. We get back in the car and I say, Sarah, my daughter, I think I want to tweet this out. I want to put this on social media, this picture that they took which was of the owner, my daughter Sarah, and me. She looked at me and said, Dad, no way. I don't have any makeup on. You didn't tell me we were going to do this. And I said, well, I really would like to do it. And she says, okay, send it to me. So I sent her the picture, and she got it on her smartphone, and she goes to the Internet and downloads an app that allows her to put her, her, her makeup on. Little eyeshadow, little makeup. She sends it back to me and said, Dad, it's fine now. Send it out. Now, guess what? Somebody did that. Do you know who did that? Somebody who understood coding, that they could tell the computer what to do and made that software application. 
if you do not understand the basics of computer science, then there's going to be something missing in our future. You might have the right idea. You might have a concept that's going to help us to solve problems in the world. And if we don't have girls involved, guys involved, then our future will not be complete. You have the opportunity to shape the world. So I hope you'll consider computer science this year, next year, and while you're in, in high school. Look at your future. Whatever field you go into, it'll help you along the way. Alpina, thanks for letting me be here. Superintendent and principal, appreciate your hospitality and letting these students come out and make my case. Thank you very much. This is your century. The world I grew up in is disappearing. The biggest skills you needed to know to be successful when I was a kid is how to fix a tractor and how to sharpen a knife. And that world is disappearing really fast. Anybody know what Minecraft sold for? 2.1 billion. And these are jobs you can do from anywhere. So, Ms. Hammonds, I would like to also thank you. I appreciate the work you do with robotics. And do you guys know our East teacher, our current East, te East teacher, Mr. Good? <laughs> These are classes and activities that you guys need to be involved in. When you guys are thinking about what you're doing, whatever you do, computer science needs to be a part of it. Ms. Ryan can get you started on computer science. <laughs>